Hello everyone, let's keep the ball rolling and then continue our third chapter, Five Elements and Their Relationships. For those who have already watched my other videos, and at this point, you would have some basic ideas of I Ching theory, such as yin and yang, 8 or 64 trigrams, etc. From this chapter onwards, the content will be directly linked to I Ching reading itself, and this doesn't mean the previous two chapters are not relevant. You can think of them purely as the I Ching part, and we have already set a solid base on that. Now, we can progress further and learn the reading part. Okay, let's begin. History of Five Elements Five Elements theory is not written inside the I Ching. You wouldn't find anything directly talking about five elements in any I Ching books. Some scholars said they are from one of the ancient Chinese traditional medicine book called the Yellow Emperor's Classic of Medicine, or Huang Di Nei Jing, discovered in Han Dynasty. Others said they were invented by Zhou Yan, one of the famous Chinese philosophers and the representative thinkers of the Yin Yang school during hundred schools of thought era which at the same time as Confucius. And another group of scholars suggest that five elements are actually from these five planets in our solar system. They are Mercury, Mars, Venus, Saturn, and Jupiter. Unfortunately, I'm not a historian, nor am I interested in finding out who really created these five elements theory so I can't tell you the whole story behind it. However, I encourage you to investigate the history behind five elements if you think it's necessary. My main focus here is on understanding and utilizing them. Back to yin and yang. Think about it in this way. There are parents called yin and yang. They gave birth to eight children, namely eight trigrams, which we have already discussed. They also gave birth to another five children, which are five elements. Each of these five elements has a different character, just as each child has a unique personality traits. At the same time, all these children also share one same feature, which is yin and yang. They are the genetic imprint from the parents. Thus, element fire will contain both yang fire and yin fire. Element water will contain yang water and yin water, and element metal will have yang metal and yin metal, etc. If you feel here is a bit confusing, don't worry, I will get back to this when you learn 12 heavenly stems and earthly branches. For now, as long as you understand that each element has both yin and yang features, you are good to continue. Features of Elements I cited these two diagrams from ChinaHighlights.com. I think they did a pretty good job of summarizing these elements' features. Please read all of them, especially for the highlight ones. You must be very familiar with them. And you can leave these two rows for now. We will return to them in the following chapters. The most important thing here are the represents. So I'm going to go through them with you one by one. First element, wood. Wood represents creativity, luxuriance, blooming, and flourishing. I always like to find similarities in differences. Think about what all of these characters in common to you. It's the beginning and unlimited possibilities. Wood represents the time of the spring. It is when everything starts to sprout, full of uncertainty, at the same time full of potential. Everything is possible at this point, depending on which direction you want to go. Wood is associated with education. Education itself is a challenging but rewarding process. Thus, 
Element wood always brings chance and hope to people. Fire represents enthusiasm and passion. Fire's nature is outspread and expanded. It is a time of summer and also the blooming season. It is the most exuberant time of the year because most living creatures go out hunting and reproducing while the temperature is warm and the food is plenty. For human beings, it will be equivalent to adolescence. Adolescents experience rapid physical, cognitive, and psychological growth. During that time, we do not necessarily know what we really want to achieve in our life. However, we feel we have unlimited energy and are willing to show the world what we can offer. Fire is often related to beauty products, clothes, and entertainment, such as movies, social media, etc. Earth is an interesting one because Earth is the last month of each season. It is the handover time. Strictly speaking, the element Earth contains all four other elements. It's like a mediator, mediating the relationship between the rest of elements. Let's take temperature as an example. Nothing will survive on this planet without Earth because the temperature will just shift too quickly. Imagine a 20 degree change in one day. How would you feel? So stability and security mean the lot for element Earth. This will also equivalent to adulthood time. Traditional industries such as agriculture and chemical industries are the representatives of element Earth. Next, element metal. Metal represents ambition, determination, progress, and persistence. What pops out from your mind first when you think of metal itself? Solid, resourceful, and polished? They are all right. The season of autumn is the season of harvesting. Obviously, we use metal to harvest. However, there are other deep meanings behind it. Metal is a metaphor for mental determination and unbroken promise. This is a period we reach middle age between 35 to 45 years old. For the last 15 to 20 years, what you have been putting effort into, it is a time to see the results. And for those who still haven't figured out what they want to do in their lives, this is your last chance to decide what you want. You must be determined and self-assured about your goal for the next 10 to 20 years. The element metal is always associated with cleaning and clearing. Our last element, water. Water represents aptitude, brightness, agile mind, and mental strength. The element water is like a wise older man, much gentle and less harsh, much flexible and less rigid, slow but long-standing, physically weak but mentally strong. It is a time of winter. Most creatures go into hibernation, conserving energy when sufficient food is unavailable. For human beings, we are going to have some physical restrictions when we are above age of 70 but we have definitely learned a lot of lessons through our whole life at this point. We are full of wisdom and have understood a lot about the truth of this universe. If you see the element water, the first thing you should think of is anything related to the mind or psychological perspective of the person. Okay, I think this is enough for today. Hope you're enjoying today's video. And don't forget to subscribe if you wish to see more videos like this. And we will continue to our second part of five elements and relationships in the next one. Bye for now.